The SFB-81 Darkreach is a high-level strategic bomber offering a large selection of ground-focused ordnance ranging in power from small conventional bombs to nuclear cruise missiles. With significant emphasis on payload capacity, the Darkreach sacrifices speed and maneuverability for armor, a deep magazine, and long loiter times. As a bomber, the Dark Reach is surprisingly flexible in payload and engagement range. While it can't engage other aircraft, it can neutralize large swaths of ground forces in a single pass and from a wide variety of altitudes, including stratospheric and low ground attack. Though advertised as an effective low altitude bomber, the Dark Reach is very clunky off the deck. It outright lacks the maneuverability for flight below 500 meters, and is exceptionally vulnerable to hostile AA guns, though it can absorb a lot of lower caliber shells. Any incoming fire from heavy ordnance is a mortal threat, and needs to be cleared out in advance of a low-flight attack run. One major strength of the Dark Reach is its astounding standoff distance. Many of the onboard weapons can be fired from well beyond visual range, allowing this bomber to engage targets from within friendly skies, offering significant protection and retreat times at the cost of surprise. This is especially true of its nuclear cruise missiles, which can maneuver around or over obstacles in the terrain to attack targets obstructed by mountains or otherwise buried in cover. In addition to its deep missile magazine, the Dark Reach also has access to gravity bombs. These more conventional weapons offer larger effects on a target, potentially allowing for multiple hostile structures and units to be destroyed by a single weapon. The Demolition Bomb is the most powerful conventional ordnance available, and is capable of tremendous local devastation to the target area when deployed. Long engagement range comes at the cost of long warning times. Pilots should take care to consider the likelihood of hostile intercept, not only of their bomber, but of their ordnance. Nuclear option allows for missiles and bombs to be destroyed in flight by an aware adversary with the correct defensive tools. Missiles are directly vulnerable to other missiles which means that a counter-battery intercept is likely against targets with SAM defenses. Gravity bombs are likewise vulnerable to intercept by AA guns and flak batteries. These factors tend to push the Dark Reach to engage at closer range, thereby offering less time for hostile forces to react to missiles and bombs. This is a tendency that pilots should avoid, as it exposes the Dark Reach itself to interception by the same air defenses and by hostile interceptors. A dark reach is a meaty prize that can earn many a pilot a rapid promotion, and so are something aggressively pursued when seen on the battlefield. As a heavy bomber, the dark reach is also limited to the largest of strategic airfields, both for launch and recovery. This means that deploying it to frontline targets takes time and replacing a unit destroyed in the field can be very tedious. This is balanced by respectable fuel efficiency and a large payload, allowing the Dark Reach to loiter near points of conflict and wait for an opening in which it can deploy its ordnance. When attacking behind enemy lines, the Dark Reach needs to be supported by escorts or by advanced removal of key hostile defenses. This often makes the Dark Reach a key fulcrum for operations in that it must be effectively defended so that it may then attack and destroy the vital infrastructure of an enemy. Thankfully, as a subsonic bomber, the Dark Reach can be escorted by frontline aircraft like the Compass, though the Dark Reach must fly below its top speed for this protection to be its most effective. With a high payload capacity, thick armor, and excellent fuel efficiency, the Dark Reach makes for a powerful ground attack platform respected by all who fly for or against it. Offering a multitude of ground attack options and ample range, 
the Dark Reach can engage and destroy most ground forces, near and far, in a single pass. Though slower to travel and more difficult to replace, the Dark Reach is well worth the effort for those with the patience and awareness to wait for an opening and exploit every opportunity. That's all I have for today, so I'll see you all later.